Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. William Samuel Ruto is a Kenyan politician from the Great Rift Valley region of Kenya. He is the former deputy president and the current serving president of the Republic of Kenya. He succeeded his predecessor, the retired president Uhuru Kenyatta, who served for two terms as per the 2010 Kenyan constitution. The constitution allows one to serve for a maximum of two terms only. President William Samuel Ruto promised Kenyans many things in his first 100 days in office. But it seems like as if it is becoming a difficult as days go by for him to implement what he promised, citing that the economy of the country was ruined by the past regime. Now, this has been, uh, this has made city lawyer Ndegwanjiru to publicly attack him, according to the vocal city lawyer through his Twitter handle, and he told President William Sangruto this. But before we read whatever uh, advocate city lawyer uh, Ndegwanjiru uh, has tweeted in, in his account, I request with a humble heart if you're a visitor and you have not subscribed to this channel please do me a favor and ensure that to subscribe to this channel you put on the notification bell that when i upload my videos you get notified automatically by youtube for those who are returning subscribers i want to appreciate you so much because of the great support that you're doing by the way if you have not given a like to this video just take a second give a like to this video ensure that to subscribe if you have not subscribed and share comment uh, the way you can now this is whatever a uh, Ndegwa Njiru advocate is saying as I display uh, on the screen. Now, Nabiruto, you can't govern the country through lying to the citizens. If it is true you inherited a broke country, why not file for a bankruptcy? Temiza Ahadizako, Wacha Chocha. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the reaction and the attack of Ndegwa Njiru, who is the advocate of the court, has brought a lot of conversation across the social media. It is not only that those who supported William Samuruto were attacking uh, uh, Ndegwa Njiru, but there were also other individuals that came out telling Ndegwanjiru that what he suggested it was what were, uh, they were thinking about this new administration. Now ladies and gentlemen when you look at the scenario William Samuruto is coming up with is a scenario that is giving Kenyans hope that is number one. Number two uh, William Samuruto has managed now to come with a criteria, tactics, that is going to make Kenyans believe him that he is going to fulfill it even if though it will not within, uh, be within a hundred days, but as long as he will fulfill those things that he promised within a hundred days. One thing that I have realized is that in terms of the new administration, they always promise Kenyans certain things within a hundred days. And those hundred days, they must feel it that there are certain changes that has been made. Little did we know that these promises that were now creating a scenario of making a lot of excuses. And I had William Samuruto yesterday while in Kajiado, Ongatarungai, he came out and I was just surprised, I was just laughing that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga waache mehe mehe mingi na budomu mingi that let Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta give him time to make sure that he was going to clear the mess that they left to the country. Then I want to ask a simple question. If William Samuruto, you are saying that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga 
were the, the people who brought this mess in the Republic of Kenya. Then I want to ask a simple question. Where was William Samoy Ruto? Because by then, he was the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Number one, he was being protected by the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. He was having a right to come out to tell the people all those allegations that they're coming up with now that look, we are facing a crackdown when it comes to the economy because Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta took 50 billion Kenya shillings to fund the BBI. Another thing, Rigadi Gashago came out again alleging that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga, they took 200 billion Kenya shillings and they funded with the BBI. The question that we are asking, if truly these duos used 200 billion Kenya shillings and 50 billion Kenya shillings, which according to me in total, it is about 250 billion Kenya shillings, yes, that was used to fund the BBI. And in any case, they're having evidence that these people misused the, uh, the resources to the BBI. Let this government take these people to the court because they're having instruments of power. And if eligible, they're found guilty, they return. But in real sense, the only thing that they're doing is to br bring a lot of blames, excuses that look, these people has made this and this. But wait, we are going to do this and this. That is why Ndegu Anjiro Advocate has come out to ask them if truly, if truly William Samoto is claiming that the country is broke, why is it that he cannot come out to fail that the Republic of Kenya is bankrupt and that don't, they don't have any resources? And in any case, I want to say this. If the new administration is complaining that in the account of treasury, there's nothing, then I want to ask a simple question. Then, to those countries that you are looking forward to borrow money, will they be able to give you because you are identifying the country that you're governing as bankrupt? So, ladies and gentlemen, the thing that I have realized with this new administration is that a lot of complaints na chocha mingi the way advocate Dengu Ajiro has come out with. And that is a pure truth because this government, they don't want the truth. And the truth, they feel like it is lies. And lies, they feel like it is truth. That is what they are doing. And that is why na kubweka bweka tu na kutembea hapa na hapa na kusema mu relax ati tunaenda kusort the country. I want to say very clear. And this is a message that also William Samuto must understand. To govern a country is not like uh, governing a constituency. To govern a country is not like governing a, a county government. Governing a country is not like you are governing a, a ward in a county a government. The reality is that you are governing 50 million Kenyans that are waiting to be served with the resources that they are being taxed, with the disbursement equally towards uh, the disbursement of the resources that are being uh, disbursed across the Republic of Kenya. But in real sense, what we are seeing is just a complaint. Then in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, they don't want to be corrected. That look, stop a lot of complaints. Fix whatever you can fix. At least Kenyans will be happy if you can fix even a little. Just fix, fix a little. Even if it will take 200 days, but at least you have fixed this situation. But the only thing that they are doing is just complain. Regarding Gashagwa, William, uh, regarding Gashagwa, day in, day out, Raila Odinga, Uru Kenyatta. Uru Ke, Raila, uh, William Ruto also, day in, day out, it is Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. It is about Raila Odinga, Uhuru Kenyatta, mess. Then Kenyans are asking, if you are complaining, complaining to Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta, Uhuru Kenyatta was the president, yes, but Raila Odinga was not a president, neither uh, he was a deputy president. Nor whether, he, uh, I don't think even Raila was given any job in the government of Jubilee. So that is 
whatever is happening. So, according to Ndegwa, he has come out to tell uh, William Ruto, if you cannot govern the country and you are declaring that the country is, um, is broke, then file that the country is bankrupt. Then we will accept that. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? You can drop your opinion on the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much. If you're a visitor, please subscribe to this channel. You ensure you put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much because of the great support that you're doing towards this channel. Don't forget to like this video, please. If you like this video, we are being recommended in the YouTube platform. Otherwise, thank you so much. Continue sharing on the other social media platforms. Otherwise, bye-bye till you meet on another video.